I decided to force my wife to fulfill her marital duties. So I walked into our room, wearing just a towel. Only then did I realize that she was in a Zoom call, and the webcam was on. What are you doing, Derek? Leave the room immediately! She said that thousands of people around the world saw me. As it turned out, my wife bought an online course, and her boss promised her a promotion if she passed. For the next three months, I'll be very busy in the evenings. Please, from now on, wear clothes at home. I couldn't let some course keep me on a starvation diet for that long. Hmm. The next day, I secretly pulled the fuses and cut the electricity in the whole house. Derek, there is no light and no Wi-Fi. Can you fix it, honey? Of course not. <laughs> no more stupid courses. I told Melanie that I couldn't deal with it myself and the electricians wouldn't be able to come until the following morning. I tried to look as frustrated as possible. Although I was jubilant, my plan went like clockwork. Nothing else bothered us. I lit candles in the bedroom and waited for her. Before getting into bed, my wife slightly moved the candlestick. We hugged and I caught myself thinking, Wow, she's getting really hot. But when I turned around, I saw the curtain had caught fire. I was busy half the night, putting out the fire and eliminating all of its consequences. I didn't have the strength for anything else. In the afternoon, I decided that I had to get what I wanted. After grabbing a snack, I went by Melanie's work and told her the electricity was back on. I locked the office door, lowered the blinds, and hinted that I hmm. deserved a reward. Are you out of your mind? I'm having lunch with my boss. I have to report on how the course is going. I reminded Melanie that when we started dating, she was the initiator of such dates. So why don't we bring them back? Since you are feeling nostalgic, pretend you're a teenager again. Mm -hmm. I'll go and you watch an adult video. <gasps> the napkins are there. Then I realized why she was avoiding me. Melanie got another man, and I thought I knew who it was. Hmm. I followed her as she sat at a hmm. table in a cafe. My wife was talking vividly with her boss. <laughs> he giggled and gently put his hand on her shoulder. I wondered how those two would react to my appearance. I expected to see embarrassment on Melanie's face, but in the end, the opposite happened. I was disgraced. Meet my husband, Derek. And this is my boss. It was a woman. She warmly shook my hand. According to the boss, Melanie was just praising me for trying to save yesterday's webinar. The modern woman is not just a housewife. It's so cool that there are husbands who understand that. 
I had to accept the fact that my wife was a careerist. I, of course, wasn't going to put up with a lack of intimacy. So I compared my schedule with Melanie's and chose windows in which we were both free. I marked those few hours as time for our meetings. And as an alarm, I turned on a time-tested romantic song. When the long-awaited day mm. came, I gave my wife a beautiful laundry set as a gift and said that she has 15 minutes for herself. But then the smartphone would remind her of her marital duties. While waiting for Melanie in bed, I found a favorable position that perfectly emphasized my new body. But my wife wasn't coming out. I thought we were playing and called her. Hmm? Yet she didn't <gasps> respond. I heard the water running in the bathroom. But when I walked in, I was speechless. The laundry hadn't been opened, and Melanie's towel was dry. She only pretended to shower. I searched the whole house, but my wife was nowhere to be found. I rushed outside and found her two blocks away. She was sitting on someone's lawn with a distant look on her face. For the first time, I directly asked her why she had been avoiding me the whole time. <laughs> Melanie didn't have time to answer as she was interrupted by the alarm. It caused her to throw the smartphone away <laughs> and burst into tears. She claimed to be under a lot of pressure, that our relationship had become an obligation and how I went from a romantic guy to a pedant, a control freak who decided to manage even love. Melanie's tone seemed to wake me up. I wanted to hug her more than anything in the world, but I knew in that moment that she wouldn't push me away. And she would be right. So. I went home alone, walked up to the fridge, and tore the calendar off. I didn't know Melanie was back and standing behind me, watching me throw away the plan for our intimate meetings. Looks like you are changing for the better, Derek. That was only the beginning of my transformation. I started controlling myself so as not to put pressure on Melanie. Plus, stop demanding the fulfillment of marital duties and being offended when she wasn't in the mood. It really worked. One day, I noticed her reaching for the shelf to get her an opening present. I couldn't believe my eyes as she beckoned me to the bedroom. The next morning, while leaving for work, Melanie said that she would be happy if I had lunch with her. Don't bring wine. No need to get food either. If you know what I mean. Chains do not hold a marriage together. Truly strong relationship live in freedom. <laughs>